Hello and welcome back to another episode of um, XCOM War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're going to continue the Royal Rumble campaign. And I got a treat for today because for once we're not going to be curb stomped, but we're going to curb stomp some uh, of the enemies. 24 sectors um, dare to land in the middle of Europe and you know damn well what that means. We need Alarium, we need uh, Alien Alloys, we need Loot. And we will go in with a C team, um, Hexor, Ranks, Aviator, Wilson the second, Lyrical and Shinrod. I put in two mind shields because, yeah, it's sector it's after all. You don't want to get mind spun. And look at that, the beautiful weapon of Ranks. I told you I wanted to check out the Mesian Auto Shotgun, which I still think is a bit underpowered. But maybe this mission will prove me completely wrong. We are going to go in in order to hack and slash and teach these buggers a lesson. It's likely not going to be the most difficult mission, but I can tell you after the last couple of missions which were like ultra difficult, specifically the one three missions ago, uh, I'm actually up for a bit of a relief. Like the game gives us uh, this tiny bit of breathing room and we will use that uh, in order to lock them down and hopefully get all of the loot that we need. Let's go, boys. All right, we landed. Well, here we are in the middle of a UFO and we got a bio rocket trooper. So the UFOs uh, with the sectors are funny, right? Because in my mind, the guy who has designed it, the mod author, potentially thought, you know, it would be really, really tough if I design um, a sector only UFO that is landing. That will bring the player completely to the edge of their seat. So much mind spin, so much uh, just aggression that, uh, that they can bring. And then when you have a campaign like the one that we're currently having, in reality, the sectors are a bit pale in comparison to what the rest of the enemies can pull off. Oh, they are clustering up and trying to dare me to rush into... Oh, another pack. They are daring me to rush into them. But they seem to be unfamiliar with my tactics. Rushing in is actually one of the things that we're doing quite regularly. So let's check this gun. It really deals six points of damage. Weapon range is limited, just like with any shotgun. Uh, Mission burst. Three shots in a row. Each sh uh, shot suffers higher penalty. I don't know, guys. I'm still not 100% convinced. Gotta be honest here. I can, I can see a play. I can see a world where this is a good idea, but I can equally see a world where this is a terrible idea. Um, but you guys want action, so I will provide exactly that. Are we okay with this? I think we're pretty much okay. Sure, why not? We're in full cover. The only one uh, in in a troublesome situation is Wilson, and he's out of range of all of the sectors. Plus, they do have, unfortunately for them, technical analysis going. This looks like a group of nudists uh, that uh, are ready to jump into the water here. Well, 
Well, the combination with kill zone definitely is working out nicely. Expanded magazines, as always, are just a treat to play with. Okay, we unfortunately ran out of ammunition. Tell you what, a um, couple of things. A protocol has a threat assessment on it. Might as well give that to Wilson because he's standing in the open and I just want to make sure that that is not causing any problems. Uh, we're putting a fire line up. Turret has squad side, so could easily start killing some of them. Um hmm We do have blade storm but we do not ha not have implacable yet Now the bio rocket we can save that for a rainy day. Look, there are a lot of really decent shots. Do we have a stock in here? No. I want to test something. Marking target. Does that also mean the others are getting are getting the bonus to hit? Um, marked plus ten percent. Yes, that's actually a good skill. Finish off uh, that abduct abductor. Place a bit of a barrier there. Ready. Trying to not move too close. Successfully failed at that. Getting the other bodies on the field. And we're trying here to uh, just thin out their rings. This should kill one, remove cover. Actually kill two. No, kills only one, but still removes the cover. That's good. Uh, we are handing over teamwork.
before then putting up more front line. Seem is a bit overqualified for the jobs that they are doing here. <laughs> Three turrets. This is a bastion of firepower. Almost looks like one of uh, those adventure defense missions that we're playing. Okay, let's see. Very good. We're seeing a couple of shots. Did they really mind control the turret? Okay, let's first of all use the turrets. Wow, that's so much firepower. The sector it's seemed to stand no real chance against that. We're going to forcefully push our way into into their base. Okay, that's a lot of 57% shots uh, to miss in a row. Six 60% shots missed. If I had to take a guess, I would say the chances of these are one in a thousand, maybe even lower than that. Hexer moves up. Run and gun for the win. We got our mind control back. Well, not the mind control back, we got our turret back. Salator turret is the sole frontliner at the moment. Followed by this heavy bio rocket trooper. I tell you what, they are not good at shooting, so might as well use him as a frontline. I typically never place uh, people in the open. It's a bit of an exception this time. <laughs> Shotgun to the face, even works on a distance. Double time. Reloads. Reloaded. And just for the fun. Now we finally got uh, the setup uh, in a tower, def uh, in a Avenger defense mission. This guy is under heavy fire. Got it covered. Got it covered. And Jarenks moves up as well. Enemy just overwatches. They ran out of ideas. Okay, can we open the side of uh, the Avenger? Potentially not, the side of the UFO rather. Already there. Hexer begins to move up. Um, 
the more melee focused or more close range focused characters are moving in. Like I said, we're going to bully our way into this one way or the other. Matter of fact, just everybody moves in. <laughs> we have so many overwatches. Well, I can tell you what, we do have a mine shield. So, joke's on you, buddy. Run and gun with Lyrical. This potentially pulling multiples. Yep, not a surprise. Very nice. She does not have untouchable yet, but will eventually get there. By a rocket trooper, moves in. And scores a very nice hit. Can any of the towers see anyone? Potentially not, right? Wilson comes a bit closer. Good, we're bringing our bait in, which in this case would be the Selected Turret. Opens the door as well to open new um, shooting angles. Drangs moves up, sees one of them, now I want to see the burst in action. Generally a cool idea, generally a cool idea. I'm solely a bit concerned that it doesn't deal enough damage and you need a really high accuracy to make that one work. Aviator moves up, Overwatch and... Yeah, I think we're just going to teamwork, uh, to be honest. We have Bladestorm. If I could get to here, it would be great. This is okay. Disoriented, merely vulnerable. If he moves, he'll just get shocked. <laughs> okay, for once we're styling on them. Shielded, my uh, my friend. Few more mind spins, but we are in the middle of the pack, just how I like it. Ah, 
Alright, slash. Fantastic. Good, Aviator moves into a flanking spot and that takes good care of the last of them. There uh, must be a few more though, I don't think we have already seen 24. Jeranx moves up and if we're pulling off uh, the stunt, uh, I'm pretty sure everybody will start to move in. Oh, that would be great. Dark event delay. <sighs> yeah, well. We've knocked out the alien distress signal. Looks like the skies are quiet. Come on, Overwatch. Uh, I'm trusting you here. All right, everybody moves in. And I would guess there is still one more pack somewhere. Reload Overwatch. Dranks. Stays up here. Good time to just reload an overwatch. Pretty sure the enemy will come uh, to us very soon. You can't handle me. Okay. Alright, yep, that's what I'm talking about. Look, 33% ain't that great, but a time 33% is actually going to be decent. There is going to be a hit every once in a while. Close one. There we go. It's a numbers game. Finally. Moving up. And we are charging up. Dranks picks up the loot. Oh, that's what I love to see. More alien cores. Okay, like I said, not the most difficult mission. I wouldn't be surprised if this video doesn't get like 500 plus views. But it was a fun mission and an entertaining one at least for me. For once I had to pay back a little bit. Which is great. So. We got... 
plenty of loot. Did we get promotions? Yep, Drenx got one. And with Guardian, he becomes even better. Oh, nice. A few cores. And we even do have an upgrade for a soldier bond. Yes, please. Thank you. So far, I was a bit disappointed with the uh, with the options that we got out of uh, the out of the custodians. But maybe that will change. And since we're only 24 minutes in, might as well do another mission for those who st were sticking around. Covered Phantom. Covered Operatives will retain Concealment, Loss and Marauders. We got a lot of Marauders here, but maybe also a lot of other stuff. So like I was saying, I was a bit disappointed so far. in the abilities uh, in the loot that we've gotten from the custodians i was semi expecting we get absolute wonderful equipment but that was not the case good where is maximilian richter Um, am I blind? No. Who is her bondmate? Can't be Maximilian Richter. L Lieutenant Jimmy Weiss. Okay. Well, he's ready, so we can already use both of them to get some experience. It's an easier mission. Wilson II uh, has Kurt Zell. I don't mind that either. A little bit of bond time. And Dranks and Aviator, worst timing. Worst timing to have a bonding. I should not have done that. So whom else are we going to take? Well, the perfect play would have been, or a good play would have been, uh, to take the two on bond training. Shinrod and Lyrical could go in, but they are both tired, but who cares? We're going to have a bit of shaken slash cleanup that needs to be uh, done but they get experience in return so that's actually fine um, the marauders do have a few psi abilities so i'm not sure if we if the mind shield is the worst of options actually not bad hexer and lyrical could work with that i'm still wondering if i want to take uh, that super shotgun that we have seen let me ask a question. Can he theoretically? Can he? No. But that would be cool. Having that shotgun multiple times on Inquisitor, that would actually be very, very good. Um, We could go with tracer rounds to just let him hit better. But I think overall the equipment is fine. Marauder incursion. I disagree that that is a di very difficult mission. It's potentially not one because we do have a huge uh, group of 12 uh, people. So let's see how this one is going to play out. All right. Well. Recover the dissection report and keep your squad alive. 
Well, we already see Furious Guardsmen here. A little bit of a preview of what is going to happen. But we do have high ground and high expectations. Lots of enemies over there as well. All right, moving up. We are running double sniper. Rolling. <laughs> okay, wait, hold on. I just got a Mark II custodian. 50 hit points, four armor. Okay, well. Let's take a look at their shotgun, shall we? Auto pistol burst, 2 to 8 points of damage. Um, Flechette launchers, hyperdrive serum, bonus to mobility, heals 20 hit points, but bleeds for 3 turns for 5 points. Yeah, well, bleed can be stopped with healing. Okay, and that's just a normal custodian. Hilarious. I think this mission is won before it even started. I mean, holy shit. We got a custodian. I'm excited, but equally terrified for the opposition. Yeah, these guys will fight each other, which is fine by me. There now. Hexer moves up a bit closer. There is more action going to happen. Oh, this is really going... Th this is staying true to the name of Royal Rumble. Moving out. This is wrong color coding, my dude. I took you for a sniper for a second. Creating a couple of fire lines here. So, so, so. I think the custodian is not really concealed, and I wonder how the custodian technically can conceal itself. Because think about it for a second. It has this ultra high armor. Defender of uh, humankind with a full body armor. And there's no way that he can conceal himself. He can't even go onto Overwatch. We'll just let him stand where he is for now. But we're going to use him as a tank. Four armor, 50 hit points. No shit. Okay, it's going to be interesting. A great distance. I will go. More enemies. More potential for us to kill. Well, this is going to be a fun episode.
The losses are going to play a very minor role in this entire episode. They are just going to be here to entertain the Marauders for one round. Whilst we have gotten into position. Good, I still would like to understand what a, a control grenade is. Does that literally mean we're taking over the control of them? Stodian moves up. Can't, I think I can't get both of them into the grenade. I was hoping we could get them. Uh, I was hoping we could get them into it, but that seems to be not the case. No point in holding back. <laughs> okay, that wasn't even planned, but it is funny. We, we want the control grenade and I would want to he hit two with it. Let's see what that control grenade does. Wait, what? Bleeding? Okay, that's interesting. Uh, so they are shredded and are bleeding wow okay a couple of things so where do we start um up here very good more enemies this will trigger an overwatch shot from kill zone should have triggered but okay one down Putting that back up there. And we are actively engaging their backline. Oh wait, that would be a good hit because it's a two for one kill. Doesn't matter. Let's get that. Cool. Putting up more turrets on weird locations.
Wow, that's a target rich environment here. So that's an insta kill. We got a mimic beacon, which is good. I am wondering if we should give our frontliner up here another action. Eight to nine. That's not good enough for me. We're still standing in the open. I don't like that. We're moving up. And it's another good old shotgun to the face. Okay, curious. Hexer could get another action. I think that's not a bad idea. Still have a few more enemies to go there. Teamwork over. Running and gunning. I want to get this guy over here. Good, afterwards we're dropping a turret and I wanted to originally drop it up there, but it didn't work. Now I'm wondering if we can just drop it in the middle here. Not a perfect position, but okay. Trying to get the Guardians, because they did have Solace, uh, which removes a lot of the buffs, and we don't want that. Okay, 8 Protocol with Threat Assessment should go to the front line, which in this case would be Hexer. Good. Time to kill even more of them. Gotcha. They know I'm here now. Good stuff. I think we're just going to kill most of them. A few lost might spawn, but I don't mind that. Spawn so far away that well let me retract my statement maybe they don't spawn that far away uh, yeah we're going to give lyrical an a protocol And then we're just placing more turrets. Yeah, okay. 
Your return fire means nothing to me. The turret has plenty of armor. Well, we got ourselves into an okay position. Lots of lost, lots of marauders. And they can now fight each other. Thankfully, we had kill zone up. I was afraid for a moment that the loss would not have a chance against the Marauders, but now it's power numbers. They are slowly but surely surrounding them. The Furious Cleansers, however, are the biggest problem. Their fire easily counters the loss. We're keeping one side clear. <clears throat> Thanks to the kill zone, which yet again worked well. Yeah, and the losses are critically weak against fire, so... Each of the Marauders is actually doing a good job keeping them at bay. Oh, you place yourself next to a car, that's not a smart idea. Lots of action happening. I like it when multiple factions are interacting. Very, uh, mm, very good to see that you guys wanted to see some more factions as well in the following playthroughs. The vote has uh, shown that almost everyone liked uh, the Dark Elders, which I can understand they are incredibly well designed and ultra hardcore. Casually giving him uh, the bond and then killing another lost. Okay, they can deal well with the loss, I give them that. But more losses are going to come in soon, my dudes. No, I do have a very, very specific target that I want to hit, which would be the guy back there. That's the prime target, the two for one. This one is also good. No. Well, we are taking the two for one target. Our enemy strikes at me. Almost got him down. No. Maybe. There must be a better way. Hmm. I want to kill this guy here. 
The problem is he's currently not visible. Which means we have to change that. Okay, we still have one more deployable turret from here. We also got face off, which how many kills would we get? That's four. If we move in a bit uh, further. Over here, we would even get a better result. I can handle that. Okay, not bad. Let's start with that. Keep in mind, we again don't have the neither the between the eyes nor the headshot reset mechanism. Okay, my good custodian, I do have an idea, because we are big, bulky, and because we're not giving any, any F. Almost got that guy. Seems doable. We don't have a stock in here. I think we can spawn a few more loss, that's okay. That's a two for one kill. The loss will spawn on the other side. Good, we're just going to kill a few losses up here. Bladestorm will help us to defend against the rest. Okay, done. Cool. Next up, more losses that need to be killed. Going mainly for the dashers. Um, we take that middle high ground here. Visitor is actually quite good in dealing with loss. Okay, so 
Inquisitor gets the 8 protocol because he's exposed. With that comes a threat assessment. And we're just keeping our position here. Calm and steady. Not a problem. The cleanser would explode, so charging up there and trying to hit it would be a bad idea. Equally, the cleanser doesn't deal a lot of damage. Bastard moves up. Overwatch is here. Moving into full cover so that we can't be flanked. And we're good. More losses are going to be triggered. But we have too much firepower to be afraid of the losses. Most of the ones that you see on our turn, uh, that are spawning on our turn, have tactical analysis anyway, so really not much is happening. The last team of, uh, of Guardians is again fighting against the loss. Desperately trying to stay alive, but let's say eight to nine hit points in this state of the game With the weapon damage that we're having is just not really cutting it By the way using grenades my dude is the worst of all ideas You just tripled your problem This turret here has a really, really good position. I like it. Finally, very good. Is low. Well, it doesn't matter that ammunition is low. I would argue we need another turret. So Wilson is leaving his beloved high ground behind. And is placing a turret, with, a turret with a very strange shot on top of uh, there. Good, with the high ground bonus, 
Maybe these turrets are actually a force to be reckoned with. Custodian moves up. Nah, we don't need mobility, not yet. What we need is sh shooting through the roof. Didn't work. <laughs> but it would have been cool if it would have worked. Yeah, we do have Blade Storm. I'm not afraid of these guys at all. We can slowly but surely start to move forward. Ce la posso fare? Uh, that was a misclick. Elusive field. I'm ready. Check it before you get too close. Overwatch. Good. Overwatch. Nice. Overwatch. Haylock moves up, Overwatch is... And we're slowly going in with a Custodian in tow. Axe moves up. The Howler is ready to kill them. Luckily we missed that one. Well, not sure why you are not attacking the guys uh, that have literally dealt damage to you the entire time. Okay, well, Marauder's turn. I have failed. Thrashing. I did nothing. Yeah, I need to spot this guy out and start killing it. Okay, we need to move a tiny bit back. This is way too exposed on the side of the flank. No armor penetration. Custodian moves up. Can we now see the guy so that we can actually snipe him? Yes, we can. Well, thank you. That's the two for one that I've been looking for for quite a while. shoots the turret twice then gets decimated by the other turrets Good. we're just dealing with the remaining losts but it seems all of them are done now let's start hitting the marauders There we go.
Reinforcements are incoming. I somewhat doubt that. I think we killed every single one of them. Which means the person with the fastest movement, which by far is going to be our Inquisitor here, is going to secure the objective. I think the rest is just staying back because we're doing very well for ourselves at the moment. I learned uh, Bastard was in a bit too exposed position. So we're going to move it back. Not sure where exactly the reinforcements are supposed to be incoming. But if it's just a lost, then I'm not scared of that. I think we killed all of the marauders. Oh, okay, well... There's a last group of them. And we can already see the target over here. Correction, there are two more groups. Good, we're moving up because as a custody, we're not giving a damn about any of that. Ah, that's a miss and a miss. chances of hitting any of these guys but we're playing it the safe way I want to prevent that they get kind of a surprise drop on us they're uh, pulling in leashes are not to be underestimated the moment that you are being pulled to them it becomes a real problem So even though all of these shots are, relatively speaking, low probability, I still think that's the right play. They should deal with a loss this turn and come a bit closer, so I'm not going to even give them a great target. Kill zone. And just barely at the edge of their reach. We're going to have a couple of shots. Yeah, might as well take out the howler because I don't want additional swarms to come in. Missed that 90% shot. Unfortunate. Roger that. I can handle that. 
this is still a dangerous position. It looks safe, but it isn't. Halo makes room so that we can get over here. Very good. Let's see what the enemy is going to do. Well, more losses for starters. The Marauders for me appear like a uh, burst type of uh, faction. They are trying to deal a lot of damage in a short amount of time. Uh, in a perfect world they would uh, try to get all of uh, all of the shots on one target that they have uh, that they have pulled uh, towards them beforehand so naturally what we want to do is not give them the opportunity to even uh, to even pull this off what I find amusing is the loss aren't even considering going into the direction of the Marauders, although the Marauders are there, right? So instead, they are pushing into us like there is no tomorrow. Typically, the split is like 70-30. This time, it really feels more like 90-10 or 95-5. Good, I can see our target uh, right there. I was about to say, is he trying to hit the custodian? Six points of damage would be a bit too much. Good job, guys. You just pulled another swarm. Finally, the new PC, though, does not create latency when we're fighting against many, many, many losses at the same time. So there is something to be said about that. Are you kidding me? Help. Help. We put our Someone soldiers help. through a lot. They'll need time to deal with these issues when we get back. Okay, well the extended fight triggers these types of reactions. Yeah, not bad. Okay, cool. Okay. Can hit that Furious Guardian. That would be great. Just wondering. Um, well. We can't take any cover anyways, so why not do that, because it doesn't hit. We're starting to get the guy down. Flea shit. Very nicely hits uh, hits him. Mm. 
No, we don't want to shoot him because that would uh, there would be a chance to explode to explode the uh, target objective. This is a marauder, so we can actually hit him. Reloading. Uh, not too good. Unfortunate. Moving to here. I'm thinking about it. Yeah, I think that's the right play. Two for one. We're slowly taking all of their real estate. Now nah, we don't want to hit the cleanser. Shinrod begins to move forward. Got it. Others are catching up with the fire line. On, Problem with the cleansers is they are too close to our mission objective. Hexor moves up. We have a lot of overwatches here. We're still playing it carefully and safe. Seems Overwatch. Got it covered. We're to go. I'm going. Good. Better positions all around. Dasher, Dasher, Dasher. Tell you what, we're just going to eliminate one of these guys. You want some more? Yeah, not a bad shot. Good, if my memory serves me well, there was a second pack. And that would be in the last in the last house. X -ray As always, the lost seem to only like to target us. Lots of overwatches. Uh, this time, uh, a couple of more successful ones. Typically, when I overwatch, like two thirds of uh, the shots are. Just blatantly missing. Good marauders still are trying to hold their base as well. It's a very drawn out fight. Fantastic. That is going to be your detriment. Oh, starting to shred us. Interesting. Good, can't let that shredding continue. So what we're going to do is we're healing the custodian. Well, not the shredding, the bleeding rather. Not even the bleeding, the burning. Um, let 
Let's see if we can surgically remove this one guy there. Oh yeah, that's the shot. Odin is moving up. I am wondering, should we just hand over an action? I think we should. He can't capture that. That's unfortunate. No bueno. Enemy fire on my position. Taking free shots at the guy. Taking more overwatch in return. Wow, we're unlucky with our shots. A lot of uh, the 50-50s are missing. to uh, grab that next turn for now our base is safe and secure and we're continuing to keep it that way few long distance shots is all we take It's interesting how the standoff starts to turn uh, turn into a real fight across the entire map. Our custodian is kind of the go-to person. Yeah, they can hit very hard. So much healing that individual shots are not going to be a problem but keep in mind he critted and there is a fire a burning rider on top of it so good that's a two for one Reinforcements apparently are incoming. Uh, I'm trusting you here. Well, I'm awaiting them. Shinrod himself 
yeah, just top him up. We have enough healing at our disposal. Okay, plenty of overwatch. Come get some. Well, how about that? Are they just respawning or wh where are they coming from? Is this effectively Reinforcements are incoming. There's always like one group every single round. Good, I mean. First and foremost, let's get the chest. Game is teasing me, it's tempting me to go for enemy protocol. I'll still do it, doesn't matter. It's a bit of a waste, but don't think that B20 hacking will do a major difference. Position for the extraction. Get out of there before things get any worse. Menace one five, be advised. We've picked up hostile reinforcements inbound on your position. Okay, so we need to get to there. That's an interesting development. couple of observations the mission could have described that whole that whole scenario a little bit clearer In other words, I would have not waited so long uh, to get into the into the back line if I had known that we need to evacuate afterwards. First, let's use our turrets. Chances aren't great, but we could nonetheless hit and maybe kill them. Okay, where are the re remaining turrets? Okay, well, it's your percent. We're finishing off the 
Marauders, uh, those are, I think, the most dangerous ones that I've seen so far. Good. We're basically charging towards the exit. I'm all over it. Even our sniper begins to move. Right, that's one down. Good, we're moving in. Um, let's use Kremlin Heal here, this might sting. just to get the burning off. The Custodian with 55 hit points is just such a monster. Keep your squad alive. Extract the report. Repositioning. Yeah, if I was to play it again, I would likely be a bit more aggressive on the push forward. I really didn't want a situation where we've um, where we find ourselves pushing too fast, and you've seen they can shred and burn and all of. Uh, that typically stacks up if you're uh, if you're being critted and shredded and and burned and then you are kind of in a situation where where they even have uh, retaliation for um, melee attacks against you then it can end up a bit problematic But if just seeing their firepower versus our firepower, we were never at, at a real risk of yeah, losing this. The turrets alone are very hard for them to overcome because yes, they can shred, but only a few of them can do that. And whilst the design of the Guardians, for instance, is great, uh, like all of them are really good action economy it appears to me that they still lack the individual power that is needed to threaten us seriously Good. Let's move up. Attention, j'arrive. Lyrical. Gets a bonus kill. 
not going to stay here and farm the kills, but you could relatively easily, with all of the turrets in the overwatch uh, support, farm a lot of the kills. Like I said, the turrets alone seem to pose a decent challenge uh, for them. Alright, Wilson the second. Gosh, we have so many agents here. Tell you what, we're already freeing up a bit of space. And I think we can get out this turn. Because I specifically left over one action over here. Comet presence. No, no, yes, yes, please. And that will allow Shinrod to move all the way to here. Here go. That means our 10 operatives are done. I, by the way, wish we could keep the custodian. The custodian plus the turrets by themselves, I think could uh, survive quite a few rounds. Just dealing with uh, the opposition. Custodian also has 20 extra hit points when he starts to heal himself with a hyperdrive serum. And the crazy part is this is just a normal ex uh, custodian. Then you do have the exalted custodians on top, and then you do have exalted custodian grandmasters on top of that. Just imagine how more hardcore it becomes. I wish we could keep that custodian. I would actually deploy him. 55 hit points is good. 120 kills, by the way, also nothing uh, to uh, nothing to be not uh, proud of. It's quite a quite a massacre. Albeit half of it was potentially the loss, but the other half uh, were marauders. The one thing that uh, has been mentioned in the co uh, comment section, and I fully agree with that, is unfortunately there is a design flaw in some of the factions. Just having more enemies really doesn't uh, make it much more difficult. Uh, topics like face off, kill zone, death from above, and so on, that all uh, just contributes to mass killing. Together, we have succeeded in our task. Good, we're assigning a new covert ops mission. Something we haven't tried before. Superior weapon upgrade, uh, not needed. Promotion, mm. black market, supply premium, nah. But the dodge is uh, not bad. I think I like that. The radars are already down. Our 
Okay. Hmm, alien loot, no. That might be a thing uh, for Hogbite. Dodge 10 and a scientist, that's potentially what we're going to do. This is a bit faster and I'm wondering. Maximilian Richter is the one that is going to stack dodge next because we want him to be really good so we're just waiting until he's back for good and bastard finally got his promotion that's good because we can now use him on normal missions without feeling bad that he's not a sergeant so well done, buddy. You caught up with the rest of the gang. We're going to wait with uh, Sonar just one more day. And once the, neg uh, once, uh, the negative traits are uh, can be removed, we'll do that. Also, let's improve the bond. Well, we can do that soon. I think next iteration we will be able to assault the marauder space we now know where it is Avenger plotting new course black flame grenade just double checking Yes, we would be ready. And if he tackles that together with Krell, then both of them will even do it in seven days, which is great. So. We will work hand in hand with our new allies. That's not bad. Now, what I would want to see is. What can we do with the grenades? black flame grenade okay so damage two armor piercing 99 which is cool it always deals two damage concentrated psionic please don't hold your weapon into my reading panel concentrated uh, uh, psionic forces burst out of this grenade overwhelming the mines shattering disorienting them and inflicting them with sonic ripples. It doesn't say how wide the grenade uh, the grenade is, but shattered isn't bad because that I think means panic. Disoriented definitely is fantastic, and the way that the grenade is potentially implemented is it'll always work. Um, and then infecting them with sonic rippling. Uh, so if that means shredded, then I'm all up for it. Uh, that looks like a, an absolute nightmarishly great grenade. Cool. We are rich. And I wanted to get that Mesian battle suit, right? So eight days and we're ready to go. Uh, also want to get uh, the Hive Gauntlet, because that one looked great. Another Black Flame Grenade, so you can build multiples of those. I first of all want to see if, if they can carry their weight, because the shotgun was... Meh, meh. I can see reasons when and why we can use it, but boy oh boy am I not happy for 140 supplies and an Illyrium core. I don't know, it's just the damage is a little bit too low. It, it focuses a lot on those triple shots. The problem is the guys that can carry it typically have rapid fire, so I don't know what to do with it. Um, if it would have better aim stats, uh, more something else, just 
very pale in comparison to even the normal uh, the normal one but this here looks good hive gauntlet tech Battle suit, yep. No, sparks are not happening this run. Hive gauntlet it is. I get it. Uh, they can bond, but we do have a couple of others that can bond as well. I am sure you will find the results. Cool. So now we got the queen finally. What does it offer us? Hive wing technology. Using the journal uh, queen's corpse, as well as some other resources, we might be able to get something useful for additional future projects. Can we fly with them? Having the queen's corpse, we need to put it to good use. Our people in the proving grounds uh, will just know what to do with it. What a description is that? They will just know what to do with it. No, they won't. Uh, how would they? The Praetorians might also be ultra Im imbalanced. I'm still looking for the most imbalanced stuff here. Uh, let's continue with the Armored Psy Viper, which I think I've put on pause three or four times during this run now. So we're going to resume that. Now, tell me, what is the project? Hive wings. Um, looks like something we want to build. I'll let you know as soon as the project is ready for deployment. Hive drone tech PCS. Okay, we'll wait for it for a second. Hive armor attack. Chrysalid chameleon corpse. Having uh, the hive queen's corpse, we need to put it to good use. Okay, well. It appears to me <laughs> that we're just creating a lot of stuff. Let's see how good it uh, really is. So. Now the juicy part of this run happens where we're getting the really good stuff. I still need more power, as in electricity power, but that'll come over time. I do not think I could have predicted this outcome. Though it okay, Vorpal Blade and Gatling Vorpal Rifle. Oh, that's the uh, gun that uh, the that the commander uses. We can now develop Gatling Warper rifles, an alien beam weapon heavier than the standard rifle with a higher damage output and a special beam technology that bypasses armor. And the Warper blade has an output, a damage output similar to the fusion plate. It grants a special Warper slash ability that ignores all armor and shields to deal full damage to the target uh, and deals fire damage. That sounds uh, pretty imbalanced. I like it. We want the imbalanced stuff because the enemies were long enough so imbalanced uh, we want to fight back. Armored Viper. Everything that is color coded tells me that's where the imbalanced stuff uh, lies. It's very simple. When the modder already feels the need that he needs, he or she needs to color code it, you can rest assured it's going to be Imba. I want a brain cord as well. This was the custodian grandmaster. We need more cores and some more Larium, but we'll get there. Vorpal blade. Okay, we'll look. We'll we'll get there. Each of the weapons uh, will come at their specific point in time. 
if if we can also mod these weapons that might actually be a really good uh, addition because our prime team does have a specialist um, and then does have another uh, psi operative uh, so the psi operative in the um, could use that warper cannon i i don't think that it'll be stronger than the uh, gun of uh, the uh, warlock the unique uh, assault rifle but this isn't bad and warper blades i don't know yet i think uh, arashi as a katana is doing exactly that can't miss ignores a lot of armor and deals full damage to the target yeah that's pretty much arashi uh, the only thing that this one here does is it ignores shields on top of it which i actually think is a cool feature so the Vorpal Blade is the natural killer for shield bearers, for instance. You just go there and then zip, the guy is dead. We, yeah, would need to upgrade some of that stuff. At the moment, we're most of the time just uh, using, most of the time we're just uh, using the shields anyways. Yeah, we can't access Sonar, but Sonar potentially gets the Viper's suit uh, next. I think you will find our results have exceeded expectations. Gatling Beam Rifle. We can now develop the Gatling Beam Rifle, an alien beam weapon, heavier than the standard rifle with higher damage output and, uh, and the capability to shred armor. Okay. Let's try the Praetorians. What can I do for you, Commander? Warper blade, warper rifle, and beam rifle. Capability shred armor, or option to just bypass armor. Why would you not? Hmm. I don't understand. Why would you not? go with that automatically the bypassing is cool but shredding is even cooler good so much to go through holy All negative uh, traits removed from Shattered Realm, that's good. Uh, the other two that are shaken at the moment, uh, we currently can't even remove their traits. Got an advanced scope, but we also did finalize the bonding. Cool. Well, there is not much to research at the moment. I wish there was a dedicated way of getting more, um, more energy. The one dark event really, really, really messed us up. And for a long period of time, we're going to lose a mission. Because it's not really possible to fight the Haven Assaults, but I'm still going to do it for shits and giggles and also to try a couple of our new tools. Venator, Wyvern, a lot of uh, Perch enemies, Andromeda and Dreadnought, we fought them, they seem to be hard. Firestarter Prime, no clue what that is. And Valkyries, I think the Valkyries were the melee uh, Archons that were very very tough okay well and it's psionic hunt uh, squad has been spotted um, expect additional forces well we're going to see that the next time for now i have to say thank you and have a, a great one 
If you are sonically active, uh, try to use your mind melt power with the like button and uh, tell me if you could reinforce it. Thanks a lot and have a good one. Bye bye.